All right, what's going on everybody? Broken Games HDR here, and I'm gonna give you my impressions for Gears 5. So, I'm playing on Insane, right? And, which is the hardest difficulty. And so far, at least, Insane in Gears 5 is a tad bit easier than Insane in Gears 4. As far as I've played and in, in, in my experience, I wouldn't say it's significantly easier, but it's noticeably easier. I'm dying a lot less um, on Insane on Gears 5 than I did in Gears 4. That being said, it might take a little bit longer for me to um, make my review because, you know, with all the dying eventually that you will do on Insane, uh, you know, it's going to take me a little bit longer to beat the game. But I think this game only, this only has four acts. What if Gears uh, 4 only ha uh, had five? So the game is a little shorter. But as we know, the game is bigger. They said this is the biggest Gears game they've ever made. And so far, that is true. Pretty much what they did was make, make the game wider and a little bit more vertical. It's similar to what the, kind of what uh, Naughty Dog did with Uncharted 4. Um, it's obviously... It, I haven't really gotten to the really open sections. Uh, you know, I'm not that, I'm not that far. Uh, like the sections we've seen in gameplay with Kate, I haven't really gotten that far. Uh, I've played like, maybe... Uh, a few hours of, of the campaign and I'm enjoying uh, what I've played so far but yeah the it, it's it's more open areas so it's literally not you going uh, just straight down a tunnel and, and, and fighting enemies and Gears 4 kind of got away from that anyway right they just improved upon what they already did with Gears 4 as far as uh, you know the the open-ended environments right so, and, and, and not every environment is really necessary or useful. Uh, sometimes you'll come across, you know, this this open area, and it's just like, for example, a library. And in that library, there's not really anything in there that you need to explore. There's no documents. There's no items. It's just to make the game a little bit more open, which is not necessarily not necessarily a bad thing, but not everything, not every area actually needs to be explored just because it's there. They just... I guess put it there for a little bit of uh, authenticity of uh, you know this is a building and uh, you know there's nothing in here but it's an open building um, but yeah that's that's pretty much what they've d done to make it the biggest gears uh, ever and so far from what I played I am enjoying the campaign more the campaign really uh, you know starts off uh, you know really fast and really with a bang um, and a lot of people didn't enjoy fighting the DBs so early in, in gears uh, in Gears 4, um, so I think getting away from that, it was relevant. It was it was relevant to the plot that they had to fight the DBs so early on in in, in 4. Um, so I can't exactly fault them for that, but it is more uh, fun and it just feels more satisfying killing locusts instead of robots. So it, it's I think it's definitely helping the campaign that you're fighting you know the, the locusts now. Um, so, so far, like I said, it, it's a better campaign than Gears 4 was. The gameplay is, is more dynamic. It has light RPG elements because you can, uh, for you have to find components uh, to upgrade your robot, which is Jack. Jack has different abilities. You know, you can send him to, you, he can scan the area. Uh, you can send him to retrieve weapons or ammos. He has different abilities like to flashbang an enemy. And a few different things that you have to unlock by finding components around uh, around the game and um, upgrading these uh, his abilities, which I think make the game a, a little bit easier. Because for in, uh, for example, like in Gears Four, if you wanted to get to a, a a weapon that wasn't near you, you had to put yourself in danger. Now you could just send a robot to go get it. So I think small little small changes like that make the game a little bit easier. But it, it's cool, you know. Like I said. The fact that you have to find components and upgrade Jack adds very light RPG elements and kind of adds a, a dynamic and element to Gears that it's never really had before. Um, so one thing, you know, obviously Gears um, has a lot of enemy types at, at this point because we're, we're we're up to five in the series. You know, it has a really good number of enemy types, and I think five really benefits from that because they can mix it up a lot more. So they can mix it up a lot more with enemy types. Uh, you know, a whole bunch of weapons. Gears has a lot of different weapons at this point. You know, you got to give Gears credit for that. Um, it has a, a lot of. They did a lot to invest in Gears world building. Um, you know, and, and the and the supporting cast of characters is good. It's not as 
great as the original. A lot of people give, even though I think like Dell is kind of like a throwaway character, um, people do give the new cast of JD, Kate, and Dell a, a hard time. But you are never really going to capture the the charm and the magic of the first of the first crew. You know, you, you just can't really do that because that was what people uh, you know really got attached to. So they, I don't I don't think there was any way they were going to fully satisfy anybody with um you know with the with the new crew and there's some other supporting characters that they've introduced in five also so yeah th there's that um i'm not really far enough to really touch on the story we know the story is going to focus a little bit more on kate and her relationship with her you know grandmother and and, and uh her being the queen and everything like that um you know i don't want to get too deep into that i don't want to spoil anything and like i said i'm not that far into the story to really say whether this is a better story or not um, than Gears 4, but it's definitely a better campaign gameplay-wise so far. Um, just to touch on the visuals, Gears 5 is a... I've, I've played, you know, you, I've, you've seen I've up uploaded the videos, uh, some videos at 4K60. Gears 5 is, is absolutely a top 5 game visually this generation. Top five. It's in the top five. Gears 4, you could, you could, you could make an argument for Gears 4, but Gears 4 looks so good, but Gears 5, they find a way to even to improve even that, which is really, which is pretty difficult when you think about it. Um, it it's, it's absolutely top five uh, because it finds a way. See, a lot of games look good, but they're very scoped and focused, right? And, 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 and smaller. I think it's more impressive when a game looks this good and it's, and it's more comprehensive and it and it's with within everything like if you look at a rock if you look at a plant if you look at the character models all the little details i think is more impressive when you can still pay attention to those things see a lot of people may say oh this is the best looking game you know this game is one of the best looking games but they only look at the characters okay the characters may look like may look amazing they may have the best character models okay but look at the world how does the world look and, and i think gears encompasses all of those things you know the, the, like i said the the minute small details the environment the lighting shadows character models all of that you're really going to be hard pressed finding some things uh in in the gears world that's like not up to par visually so i it's absolutely top five i'm not going to get into what other games are top five visually i mean you we we, we know what they are uh, but yeah, it's it's an absolutely beautiful game. It's it's gorgeous, you know. Six, you know, running above sixty frames. It's just gorgeous on on PC. Um, so so yeah. Uh, multiplayer. I've played some of the multiplayer. I'm enjoying it. I think the multiplayer maps are better. Uh, one. I think this is, and it, it might be a little bit too early to say this. Uh, I think this is the most balanced. Uh, Gears has been, um, but. We have to give that a little bit more time because, as we know, with multiplayer games, people find as, as the more you play, people find exploits, and you start to notice imbalances in multiplayer games. So, but it, 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 as far as I've played, it's pretty balanced. As far as you know, Nashers will always be the primary weapons in Gears. There's, there's nothing you could do uh, to change that. It, it's it's Nasher um, centered, right? Especially in the online multiplayer, but they every game they've slowly tweaked and tweaked to make the other weapons more relevant and like the lancer and and ranged weapons are more relevant than ever before in, in this game um even if you you're not downing somebody with it you're softening them up uh you know to engage them in, with the nasher so so far i i could say close combat range combat so far online is is pretty good and balanced and the uh, like I said, the multiplayer maps are better. Um, the Nasher seems to be uh, working pretty good right now. If you remember with Gears Four, there was some issues. They had to patch the Nasher several times because the bullet spread and the aiming was kind of funky. Like the, what was it? The aiming was really uh, coming out of the right side of, of the gun and not directly out of the the Nasher from the point of the of the front of the Nasher and uh yeah like i said it was just really funky with the bullet spread and they had to patch it a few times i think with gears 4 so i think uh they they just continued off of what they start what they ended with with gears 4 and just took it to gears 5 and get with gears 4 um of course i know i'm comparing comparing the games a lot but you know that had to kind of has to be done um 
we, you know, especially when we used to play online and be in the Discord, we used to always like we used to pretty much play the game of uh, oh, whose game is gonna crash first, and it didn't, and, and it was a, it was obviously a, not necessarily a gears problem. It was like a Windows Store problem combined with some issues in gears because it didn't matter which one of us and what type of different rigs we had all of us would crash on pc now my game has not crashed at all uh i don't know anybody's uh game that has crashed besides one person but he's an anomaly um and the game is the game is very optimized there has been some server issues but that's not the game itself that's just server issues i i the first multiplayer match i played um, I uh, I did get booted out of that with right like right in the middle of the game. Uh, so this the, the the gameplay I put in this video that was the second um, that was the second match I played. And there's I'm definitely rusty, but um you know I haven't pl really played since Gears Four. I didn't play the Gears Five uh, beta or technical test or whatever they called it. I didn't play any of that. So I was very I was pretty rusty, but um, you know I had to get acclimated to my look sensitivity. Uh, look sensitivity again because you know Gears is, is a very fr fast and frenetic and high sensitivity game. It's it's one of those games where you know in, in other games I think you know if, even if other players people play at high sensitivity you can still do well in other games. Gears I think you like damn near have to p play it high sensitivity at least, at least at least I do. So it takes a while to get used to uh, the speed and you have to play it consistently. But that that all kind of like comes back to you after you play for for a day so so far you know gears gears 5 does seem like a a, a really fun game it seems like a good game it's you know i'm not it, it, and we all know there's been a lot of talk a lot of uh talk about you know the metacritic score and it's an 85 and people are saying are you telling me this game is only one point above uh gears 4 like i said i gotta i gotta play uh and and actually beat the game to um to decide that, like I said, from what I've played, I think it's a much better game than, than Gears 4, but, you know, it's Metacritic. It, it scores people, people's opinions. That, you know, you know how that game goes. But so far, to me, this is a great game. Um, you know, all praise to Coalition. It's, 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 uh... They've, they've done a great job. Um, Gears did need, like, to be revolutionized. I don't think this is, like, an extreme evolution of, of of gears but they've added a, a you know some different gameplay elements and things it's not a huge overhaul it's this is still gears at the heart of it and that, that that'll never change so but you know so far game's good i'm enjoying it it's fun let me know what y'all think about it uh make sure you hit the like button and uh to support check all the links in the description follow me on tw uh, twitter mixer twitch all that good stuff i'll check y'all later i'm out of here peace